thought I'd just make a video uh, for uh, those of you that are having voltage regulator issues. Um, I was getting the 10.8 uh, the error in the display on my son's 570. So I purchased, um, it's a kit for a, for a Razer uh, 900 and 1000. As you can see in the instructions here, uh, this is a kit that was uh, designed to replace, I guess, the faulty regulators on the on the razors, uh, and it comes with um, the wiring harnesses, and it also comes with uh, the voltage regulator, which I have already mounted. And I opted to mount it back in the stock location. So that's the uh, that's the new regulator. Uh, it mounts exactly uh, where the stock one was, uh, and that's where I've decided to uh, keep it. Uh, I found out my issue uh, was the routing on the wires. So the wires come from the stator and wrap around in behind here, and then come up to the regulator. So mine had uh, or my son's had worn through the insulation, and I think that was the cause of. Uh, the short in the regulator. Alright, so as far as the wiring harness goes, um, I know that uh, for those of you that have done any kind of research uh, on uh, using the Razer um, voltage regulator, you'll know that the wiring harness, this is the one that comes with the kit, you'll notice that it's, uh, it's a lot shorter than what the original one was for uh, the 570 Sportsman. So what I've done, uh, paying attention to what wires came out of where, um, I'm really not sure if it makes a difference. These wires come from the stator. Uh, they have different uh, numbers on them. Uh, so uh, I made sure that uh, uh, the wires lined up the same uh, when I extended the harness. So this is the CN that goes into the volt, the new voltage regulator, and this is the old uh, the old clip that uh, was on uh, my son's uh, Sportsman. So I've made sure that the wires line up the same as what it did uh, on the new wiring harness and I have extended it uh, so that it is now the same length uh, as what it was uh, so I can keep it in the stock location. Okay, I showed you the one uh, harness, uh, the one that comes from the stator to the regulator. Uh, now the other harness, um, this is the uh, uh, the wires that go up to the, uh, well, it's kind of like a distribution block. It's got a bunch of posts. The cable from the battery uh, goes up to it, and then uh, the positive cable uh, and the ground come down here and get plugged into the regulator. So, as you can see, um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to take off uh, if I wanted to get to that uh, block. Uh, so all I did was, uh, again, uh, I already had the two wires coming from the existing regulator. Uh, they came down uh, and they plugged into the regulator uh, over there in the regular uh, position. So I simply just cut the, cut the wires off and I, uh, and I spliced in uh, the new connector, uh, making sure that the ground and the positive uh, are the right, uh, are connected to the right wires. And that saved me having to take off all the snorkels and all of the uh, rad relocate. Uh, so that's what I did with that. Bit of a shortcut, um, but uh, definitely uh, worth uh, saving. Now, I told you that the reason for the, uh, the reason I believe anyway, um, that the voltage regulator crapped out. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but uh, you can see there. Uh, that was rubbing on the frame. That keeps going out of focus. Let me try to get closer. So there you can see there. It was rubbing on the frame uh, as was that wire. So I'm gonna fix that now. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna splice in some new wire and cover it up and then when I uh, plug it all back in I'm gonna route it a different way. Okay so I fixed those uh, bare spots on those wires that have worn through coming from the stator. And it's blurry again, but uh, so as you can see, I've uh, instead of uh, routing it uh, down in there where it was originally, I've uh, routed it here. Uh, I've gone across underneath above these snorkel tubes. 
and it makes it a lot easier for for me because the rad's not in there anymore so uh, I have a lot more room obviously so then the, the harness comes here and then up to the regulator and then the power wires plug in as well so that's the way I've redone my wiring uh, there's no uh, wear or rub points now uh, that should uh, should last a lot longer I've also dielectric greased all the connections so uh, I'll uh, hook the battery back up and we'll test it so I've plugged everything back in and as you can see uh, voltage is back up where it should be now there's a you know it says 13.4 this is at idle 13.4 13 it was well, up to 13.6 anyway it's charging um, there is about a one volt difference between your voltmeter and that display and I don't know if I can do this with one hand probably not anyway I'm not gonna be able to do it anyway I tested the battery it's at 14.5 14.4 when it's running uh, like I said, there's a one volt difference um, when uh, at the display here. So it was the voltage regulator that uh, that was causing my issues. Um, this is the uh, upgraded uh, one from the Razor. And as a side note, um, the uh, a friend of mine has a 570, and he had his guy brought to the dealer. Uh, and uh, it seems now, and also according to the uh, the Polaris uh, part numbers now, is this is what they're replacing it with instead of uh, another 570 uh, regulator. Anyway, that's what I've done. That's the Razor uh, regu voltage regulator install on the 570.